So here we are, welcome back to part two of the tutorial on how to do the moss stitch. So this in this part two, I'm going to show you in a more in depth on how to create the moss stitch from casting on to actually creating the stitch itself and some tips associated around with it. So if you haven't already, please check out part one where I show you an in-depth video on the overview on how to understand the moss stitch because it's a very easy stitch, it's only done in four rows. And once you understand how to do the moss stitch, you don't have to write it down, you don't have to remember it. It's very easy to just pick up and do anytime, anywhere, and wherever you left off in the pattern, okay? So please check out part one first if you haven't done so already. So for this part two, I'm going to show you the technicalities behind doing the moss stitch. So I'm going to start with a cast on, okay? Um, you can begin any cast on that you wish to do, I'm going to do a long tail cast on. So for that long tail cast on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my yarn and I'm going to determine how long a tail do I need. So I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to wrap the yarn around my needle. So for example, you can do as many stitches as you like for the moss stitch. That's how great it is. It's a very flexible stitch. You can do even number of stitches, you can do odd number of stitches, it doesn't matter. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do, I'm going to begin with five stitches for myself. So I'm going to wrap the yarn around my needle five times, two, three, four, five. And what that's going to do is that each wrap represents one, the size of one stitch basically. So at the end, I'm going to have a tail to represent how much tail I need to cast on, okay, how long of the yarn I need. So in, this is for me for five stitches. If I need, for example, 25, all I have to do is multiply it. So keep our point here. This would be 10. This would be 15. This would be 20. That would be 25. And this area right here is where I'd keep hold of. And all of this tail is the tail that I would need for my long tail cast on for 25 stitches. But because I don't need 25 stitches, I'm going to only be doing five. We're just going to get back to five. One, two, three, four, Five, and that's all I need okay so because this is kind of because this is kind of a small amount I'm just going to extend it a bit just so it's less cumbersome for me it's more comfortable okay so at this point here wherever you end off you're going to do a slip knot take your yarn twist it to create an X take your tail pull it through the hole like that and you have a slip knot Take your needle, insert it into the hole, and pull the tail. Boom, like that. So this stitch actually creates one stitch. This is one stitch. So because I'm doing a total of five, I need to create four more. So what I'm going to do, the long tail cast, I'm going to take my tail, so here's my tail, and I'm going to hold it in my hand like this. I'm going to put it in my palm, and then I'm going to flatten my hand out. I'm going to take my thumb, flatten it out, and the tail's going to be underneath my thumb. Then I'm going to lift up, twist. That's going to create an X. From this X, I'm going to take my needle. I'm going to insert it from the bottom up on my thumb. Boom. Hold my needle. I'm going to take my yarn that's attached to the ball. Wrap it around the needle. Counterclockwise. Grab hold of my needle again, and I'm going to let go of this hand. I have now a loop. I'm going to take the loop, pull it over my needle. Like that. I'm going to take my tail and pull my tail. Boom. One, two stitches. Let's do that again. Palm, palm, flatten it out. Lift it up, twist. I have an X inserted from the bottom up on the thumb. Hold my needle. Take my yarn, work it around it. Take the loop, pull it over, and pull the tail. Boom. Three. One, two, three stitches. Now we're going to create a total of five. So do it again. Four and do five. Boom, 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 and boom. Okay, so now we have a total of five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Now this cast on, what we did does not count as row one. So the moss stitch is done in four rows. This does not count as row one. We, were going to, we are going to do row one right now. So we're gonna get ready to knit and purl. Okay, so. Take your needle, put it in the opposite hand. Take your working needle, which is the empty one. I'm gonna call the empty one the working needle. I'm gonna call this one with the loops on this hand here, the first needle. So take your working needle and insert it into 
your stitch on the first needle, okay? So for the moss stitch, you, you can start with a knit or a purl, it doesn't matter. For this example, I'm gonna start with a knit. So I'm gonna insert my, my, my working needle from the front to the back, insert it into the stitch like this, okay, like that. Then I'm going to take my yarn, which is attached to the ball. The, the tail now, we are done with the tail. You can weave it in at the end and cut the remainder off. So we're gonna be working with the string that's attached to the ball. So take the string that's attached to the ball and wrap it around your working needle counterclockwise. Now that that's done, it looks like this. And then we're going to take our working needle, pull it all the way to the edge Take our working needle still with that working needle, bring it to the front like that, and then take our first needle and pull it off the loop. So pull, 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 be gentle, and there we go. We have done a knit. Now we're going to do a purl because for the moss stitch, for horizontally, it's going to be knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl interchangeably. So we did a knit. We're going to do a purl. To do a purl, what you're going to have to do is bring your yarn to the front, okay? Of the working needle. Take your working needle and we are at the back now. We're going to insert it from the back to the front. Okay, so take your working needle, insert it from the back to the front onto that second stitch like that. Going to take your yarn, wrap it around counterclockwise again on that working needle and you're going to pull it through. Pull through, be gentle, be gentle and pull it from the front to the back like this. Take your first needle and pull it off. Just like that, there we go, okay? And then we've done a purl. So now we're gonna do a knit again. So to do a knit, we're gonna take our, our yarn, bring it to the back of our working needle, take our working needle, insert it from the front to the back, so we're at the front now, insert it to the back on the stitch, boom, like that. Take our yarn, wrap it around counterclockwise. Take our working needle, be gentle, be gentle, there we go. Bring it to the back from the back to the front it's now at the front and we're going to take our first needle and we're going to pull it off there we go just like that okay so that is a knit and now we're going to do a purl because right we did a, a knit purl knit purl and the final one will be a knit so this second this second last one will be a purl stitch so bring our yarn to the front take your working needle bring it from the back to the front into that stitch wrap it around counterclockwise, take the working needle, bring it from the front to the back now again, take your first needle and just pull it off like that. There we go, and that is a purl, and finally a knit, your yarn, bring it to the back, take your working needle, bring it to the front, and we're going to insert it into the stitch from the front to the back like that, boom, wrap the yarn around it, insert um, take your working needle, gently slide it back to the front, take your first needle and slide it off like that. Okay, so that is our first row. We have done a knit, a purl, a knit, a purl, and a knit, okay? So just to show you how to determine a knit and a purl, it's kind of difficult on the first row, but you can kind of see it right here. We have a lump right here, that is a purl, and you kind of have a lump there, but over time, see, it, it, it'll look like that. That is not a lump, that's more like a, a V, right? The typical knit V. That V is a knit, this lump is a purl, right? So we've got purl, knit, purl, knit, and the first one is a knit. So when you're doing the moss stitch, the first stitch and the last stitch, you'll notice it can become kind, it can become kind of confusing to determine if you're working on a currently on a knit or a purl. So it's always good to look at the second stitch to determine what the first one is because remember horizontally it is knit purl knit purl knit purl if you have a purl then your first one is a knit if you have a purl your next one is a knit if you have a knit your previous one is a purl if you have a knit your next one is a purl as well right knit purl knit purl knit purl so that's how to determine what the first stitch is if it can be hard to identify okay so we're done row one so for row two we're going to turn the work over and begin row two, okay? So we'll look at our piece, right? We ended up, re so for the moss stitch, you do not have to remember what you did in the, in the previous row, 
okay? You can just start wherever. All, you just have to look at what you currently have. So when we turn the work over, we currently have a purl stitch, right? The next one is a knit, then we have a purl, then we have a knit, then we have a purl. So the first one is a purl. What does that mean? Because the pattern is vertically now, we are working vertically. The pattern now is, because the pattern is two knits, two purls, two knits, two purls, we know that we're going to have to create two of each kind. So because we have one purl, we're going to have to create another purl, right? Or if you have a knit, you're going to have to create another knit, right? So because we have a purl, we have to create another purl, so we're going to do a purl. Insert your, your needle from, so take your working yarn, bring it to the front, insert your needle from the Back from the front to, uh, from the bottom up on the front wrap the yarn around the needle counterclockwise and then do a normal purl bring the working needle down 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 bring it from the front to the back like that take your first needle and gently slide it off like that we have done a purl stitch now we're going to do a knit and how do we know we have to do a knit if we look at here we have one knit stitch we know we're gonna have to create two knit stitches for it for that vertical knit two knits two pearls two knits two pearls right we did two knits two, we did previously just two pearls now we have to do two knits we have one knit here we know that we're going to have to create a second knit so let's create that second knit put the yarn to the back of the working needle insert your working needle from the front to the back bottom up like that wrap the yarn around the working needle bring it down 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 from the back to the front, take your first needle and gently slide it off. There we go, okay. So now we've created two purls, we've created two knits, so let's look at the next stitch. What do we have? We have a purl stitch, so we know that we're gonna have to create two purls, so we have to do another purl. Bring the yarn to the front, insert your needle from the back to the front, wrap it around and do a purl stitch. Look at the next one, we have a knit, we're gonna do a knit stitch. And look at the final one, we have a purl. We're gonna do a purl stitch. Okay, so that is row two. All right, so there's a piece that I'm currently working on. But if we look at it closely, we can see that we have, we can see our two knits and our two pearls. Our two pearls are these lumps here. One, our two pearls are these lumps here. We've got one lump, two lump, and we have our knits. Our knits are these Vs, one V, two V's, two pearls, two knits, two pearls, two knits, two pearls, two knits. So that's how you determine if you have two pearls or two knits and which stitch you're currently working on, okay? So let's look at row three. So we turned our work around and we are beginning row three. So for row three, as I said before, for the moss stitch, you don't have to count your rows. You don't determine which row you're on. You just have to look at what stitch you currently have, okay? so. What stitch do we currently have? We have a knit. We have two pearls. We have two knits. We have two pearls. We have two knits. We have two knits here at the beginning. So that, what does that mean? We have, it means that we have to create two pearls, right? Because the pattern vertically is two knits and then two pearls. Or two pearls and then two knits, right? So let's create the first of our pearl. Okay, pearl here. Pearl. And look at the next stitch. What do you have? You have two pearls. So you know you're going to have to create two knits. So let's do a knit stitch. Like this. Okay. Next one is a pearl. And the next one is a knit. Okay. Like that. And the final one is a pearl. Oops. Like this. And finally, let's look at row four. So turn your work around and begin row four. So what do you have? Right? We have, as I said, the first one can be kind of difficult to see. So look at the second one. What do you have? We have two knits and we have one purl. So we know that this second stitch, we're going to have to do a second purl. But because we have a purl here, we know that the previous one is a knit. Right? So we're going to have, so we, because we did one purl here, chances are, if you did it correctly, you have one knit here. Therefore, we're going to have to create two knits for that two knit two purl ratio. Okay, so insert your hook, insert your needle, and do a your second knit. Look at the next stitch. What do you have? We have our one purl. 
we have two knits, one purl. We're going to have to create our second purl for that two knit, two purl ratio. Second purl, look at that. The third one, look at what we have. We have two purls and one knit. Therefore, we're going to have to create our second knit, right? That's how you determine this moss stitch. We've got two knits and a purl. We have our second purl. And finally, we have our end, which is kind of confusing. But because we did two purls here, chances are we have two knits going here. We did one purl. We did our second purl. We have one knit. So we're going to do our second knit on the final one and there we go and that's how you create the moss stitch it's just like that just those four rows but again don't you don't have to remember which row you're on or what you're doing all you have to do is remember what's is is, is look at the bigger picture and understand how to create it and which stitch you are on currently what stitch do you have do you have two knits do you have two purls do you have one knit do you or do you have one purl and what do you have to do next right so if we turn the work around which i just did and we work our next row we can just determine that we're going to have to do we did two purls we're going to have to do two knits next for the second stitch we did two knits so we're going to do two purls right look at the next one two purls we're going to do two knits two knits two purls two purls two knits right so the next stitch we're going to do after our two purls on this first one here is our two knits so our first knit of the two we have the second stitch we have two knits we're going to do our first purl of the two we have two pearls, we're going to do our first knit of the two. So that's how you create it. Then you do, then you turn your work around and you complete it. You do your second knit or your second pearl. So that's how you determine this stitch and that's how you create this stitch. Very simple. Look at what you have and determine what you have to do next. So I hope that helps. That's the moss stitch. Please subscribe to my channel because I do have a wonderful, fantastic tutorial and pattern free of charge on how to create a really, really functional and practical fantastic project it will be coming up sometime in the future in the new year i'm still working on it now but please subscribe to get the latest tutorial on that and again i will show you exactly how to create this project this upcoming project from start to finish every step of the way even if you're a beginner you can figure it out how to do it okay so please subscribe check out my channel look for more tutorials and thank you for watching Thank you.